Hey everybody, it's Premier. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and this week has been full of Premiere Pro social media export tutorials. This is my last one, and it's on Twitter export settings inside of Premiere Pro. I'm gonna be playing around with some of the presets they have, and I'm gonna tell you which ones I recommend as the best settings for the best optimal quality on Twitter. And I've used your help. I actually did a couple tests before this and you guys gave some feedback. So thank you for doing that. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, you guys, so I'm here inside of Premiere Pro and I have this little promo video from my YouTube channel I created. And a huge shout out to Motion Array because I used one of their After Effects templates to create this promo video. And it saved me a lot of time. I was able to create something really fun and promotional for my channel and it didn't take much time at all. Um, normally, you know, this kind of a project would, would cost a lot of money. So a huge shout out to them for all of their assets. You should definitely go check it out, motionarray.com. So I have this video here and I wanna upload it to Twitter. So I actually did some testing and I found that the Twitter preset inside of Premiere Pro, the bit rate is quite low. So it actually created a lot of particles in this fast moving animated video. So what I'm gonna do is show you um, what I did to produce the best quality, okay? And also just a quick tip here, um, Twitter's duration, like you can actually upload up to 140 seconds. Not that you would, 140 seconds, like 140 characters, I know, um, which is, I think, two minutes and 20 seconds. So that's actually quite long for Twitter. This is 28 seconds. So I don't tend to upload more than that because you don't really engage that much. Usually Twitter, you click on something and go somewhere else to watch it. So just a side note here. Now let's go up and I will show you the best settings. I'm going to go up to file, export, media. And so what I did here is... I just went to the preset and I'm going down to Twitter to the 720p HD. Uh, Twitter recommends 1280 by 720 um, for their platform as the best settings. So if you go under video here, you can see that the frame rate is 30. I'm gonna go ahead and match it to the source, which matches the frame rate of your video in the sequence, which is important. And I'm gonna continue scrolling down here to bit rate. So change the bit rate here because this is way too low and it should be a VBR2 pass for best quality. The bit rate here at two megabytes per second, it produced a lot of particles and it was not that clear. So I actually increased it to eight and had a maximum bit rate of 12. And this really brought more clarity and less jitteriness into the animation. Um, so I'd highly recommend that. Um, before you hit export, you can actually publish directly to Twitter. If you scroll down, you can go down to Twitter, you can log in and you can add a status. And I'm gonna show you, you can actually add emojis from your desktop if you want to. If you go here to Emojipedia, you can copy emojis, Command C and actually paste them here in your status. So if you didn't know that, that's another tip that you can use. Um, another preset you can use, if you don't wanna go through these settings, you can actually just use the YouTube 1080p HD export, and I used that and it also worked pretty good. So, you know, you can either use these custom presets if you just wanna stick with the 720, or you can do uh, the 1080p. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that you found this useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I make new video tutorials every week based on your request. Go to my website, premiergal.com, click on that tutorials tab and there's a form that you can fill out. So I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here and ooh, Do you think that was good? Or should I do it one more time? Yeah.